In this video, I'm going to show you the fifth component to an effective offense in Madden, and that is the ability to score inside the five in the red zone, the ability to turn uh, red zone trips into touchdowns as opposed to having to settle for field goals. Now, we're going to be in the Jets offensive playbook today. We're going to be taking a look at the tight Y off formation. We've been doing a little mini series on this over the past couple videos. If you want to get access to my entire Jets tight Y off offensive ebook, Everything is, I actually dropped a full ebook on this in my Patreon page. It's got a ton of advanced setups for the tight wide off formation, as well as an entire little mini scheme in the red zone that I think is one of the best red zone schemes in the game. So if you want to get that, you can get access to all of my ebooks, all of my updates by joining the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description down below. All right, guys, so one of the things that I wanted to do in this video is show you one of the big keys to great red zone offense. Really, there's a couple of things. You've got to be able to pass inside the five. I think you really do. I think you have to have some kind of what is your plan to pass inside the five yard line that, that you have to have something. And then also another thing that you have to think about is what's your run game going to be like? What's your running plan? So what I like to do whenever I'm in the red zone and I'm in the Jets playbook is I love to come out and to play jet touch pass. The reason is because this is going to give me a jet sweep type of running play that I can kind of rely on um, down in the red zone if the if my opponent is, is giving me the right look for that. If they're not, if they're spreading their defense, then I can also audible to my inside zone. And then I also have my passing game all in my audibles. So I like to come out and jet touch pass, especially down here in the goal line. Now, if I get a look like something like this, then what I'm immediately going to try to do is go to inside zone and try to punch it in just like that super quick. Okay, because this inside zone in particular, I think it's actually fairly difficult to shoot this inside zone. Um, and you can cut it back if you want to. So you can cut it to the left, you can cut it to the right, and have some success that way. Now another thing that's going to happen is as that, that as it happens, if you start to see that they're pinching their line or they're over pursuing to stop inside zone, now we're going to go to jet touch pass because we're only going to get a couple yards. So having these little quick run game options down here in the red zone, I think is actually super helpful. Another thing we can do is in this formation, this is another reason why I think the Jets playbook is really valuable. It has gun tight where you have quick base, so I can make one audible to quick base and have a chance to run a little bit more of a power style run down on the, on the five. So a lot of different options for stuff like that. Now my favorite passing play inside the five yard line is tight in corner. Um, this is this is one of the main reasons why I think the Jets playbook is actually super valuable. So how we're going to set this up is we're going to take the running back and we're going to put him on a wheel route. We're going to take the tight end and we are going to put him on a post route. And then we're going to take Steve Smith right here. And I like to either put him on an out route or put him on a flat route. So you see here, this is what the player looks like. And then our first read is this route to CD Lamb. If he beats his man, and the way you're going to know that is if he lights up, if he lights up that shows that he's going to beat his man, then I'm going to try to I'm going to try to hit CD Lamb. If not, then my next read is over the middle of the field. This route to Calvin Johnson is super good, especially if they're going to run man coverage down here uh, on the five. We've got a real nice little pick concept over there on the right on the left. And we can hit that. Another another read that I really like is this tight end post. Tight end post one of the best routes inside the five yard line. You want to make sure that if you're going to run the tight end post inside the red zone, that you're not flipping your play. If you flip your play, the post route will not always run properly. So that's something else that you need to kind of be aware of. Uh, another thing with jet, jet, jet touch pass is you can cut it in like off tackle, like I did right there. If you want to try to do that, that's another option. Now, once your opponent starts to go to zone, uh, things actually start to open up pretty good for us. So this play is um, really good. I think it gets man in zone. It's very versatile play in the red zone. If they run zone, really the route that I want to hit is this running back. I should not have highballed it. Um, I just want to throw it into that seam. It's, it's kind of the age-old concept. The running back seam will inside the five is such a great passing concept. When you pair that with a quick out, like we're doing with CeeDee Lamb, and then you're going to open up the middle of the field with these little quick horizontal. It's basically just a good horizontal concept. As you can see right there, it gets into a real soft spot um, against zones. And so, you know, if they're running, if they're running zone, that is a really, really good uh, route to try to look for. Now, if they're running zone and they go user that, then your tight end route gets open in the back of the end zone right about there. So you see how... Everything kind of works together. If they run to the right side, then we're going to have opening 
into the left side of the defense. Now, what if they run um, cover two, right? What if they run cover two? Cover two is actually pretty decent. A um, couple things with cover two. This is where this corner route to Steve Smith actually does have some value. If you leave him on this corner route, a lot of times you could throw a high point in the back of the end zone and he'll catch that or just free form it. Um, so you have some you have some options if they run cover two, if you want to leave that corner route. If you don't want to leave the corner route, which I probably wouldn't, just because of everything else they could do defensively. Now we're looking at this back to the run. The route to the running back is still pretty good if you throw it immediately and you hit him and get him the, into the end zone. And then if that's not there, then what you want to look for is, of course, your tight end route or coming over the middle. So here's a tight end route. Kind of sneak that right in there just like that. And another thing that you can do um, because what's going to happen is they're going to use your, your tight end, okay? Uh, so in this example here, they're going to maybe have someone manned up on the running back, and they're going to use your tight end, and it's going to leave a big void in the middle of the field. So if I'm in tight end corner, this is the main purpose for this route to call or, uh, to Calvin. You get that right there coming back across your face, and tight end's a little soft spot on the defense. Red zone offense is all about finding the soft spots of the defense. You don't want to have to pass in here, but if you do, you have to be prepared to throw the ball. There's a lot of other good red zone plays that I discussed in the tight wide off offensive ebook. If you want to get my entire offensive ebook on the Jets tight wide off formation, um, the link is going to be in the description. Ten dollars will get you access to all of our ebooks. This makes our 24th ebook of the Madden 23 season, and we're dropping a brand new ebook later next week as well. So make sure that you get in the Patreon. Ten dollars gets you access to everything. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.